Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5066835 or KB5066128. Because of this error code that is 0x800F0983. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update so you can go to Windows Update. Now over here, first of all, if you see retry option, you can click on retry and then check if that does not work. You can pause the update and then once pause, resume the updates and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run these two commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make our active on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command. This command is provided in the video description. Paste it, hit the enter key. Uh, let me. Now, this process will take some time and once the scan is 100% complete over here, you can copy the second command, paste it on the same window and once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, the next step is to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Now find Windows update, scroll down, here you can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Then make a right click on Windows update and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again make a right click and then click on restart. Now find app readiness service. So here you can see app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, make a right click and then click on restart. Now once done, check, still not working, run Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And if you find any update, if you see update option or install option, you can install it and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser and over here, uh, it will take you to Microsoft website and write down the name of the update. That is KB5066835. Then click on search. Now, Type in WINVER in Windows search box, WINVER, and over here, check version. So in my case, it's version 25H2, and then you can go to Windows settings, go to system, go to about, and for me, it's x64 bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 2, uh, sorry, Windows 11 version 25H2 for x64 base system. So this is the right one for me. And if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. So you can download as per your system. For me, this is the right one. Click on download. And then on this screen, you can click on this update that is KB5066835. And then you can install this update. You can click on it and just follow the on screen instruction. And then you can update this update manually. You can even install this one if not installed and then restart your computer and then check. And do the same thing uh, with the other update that is KB5066128. Uh, uh, you can find it in Microsoft Update Catalog and you can install it. Now, still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. For this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update, Update and, uh, sorry, Advanced option, and then go to Recovery option. And over here, you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, you can restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can go to this website. And here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Now when you run this exe file, uh, you will see this screen. Uh, click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file over here. And then 
next you can save it to desktop and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once done click on finish and then it will take few seconds to close so let it close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file run the setup file make a double click click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so hit install after the installation uh, log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these two updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel